We're going tasty. To, I'm going to go large. Tasty. Can't be waiting around for any more of this madness. Ah! Boom. <laughs> yeah. This time next week we'll know the Oscars on Sunday night into Monday morning. All the results will be here. Had a little bit of Hollywood there, didn't we? Mm. Well, there's more coming your way now, everybody, because there was a surprise visitor to an antique shop in Lincolnshire this weekend. Yeah, as the world goes to Los Angeles for the Oscars, Johnny Depp was here. He made a surprise visit to Hermswell Antique Centre. He was there for four hours and his purchases four included hours. a Victorian top hat and a skull encrusted vase. Bought these as well, two guitars, and even gave uh, a bit of a rendition to the staff. Is that really Johnny Depp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That really is Johnny Depp. To prove it, we're joined by Paul Dagg, who works there. Morning, Paul. What? So, oh, good morning. What? Welcome to Pemsmell. <laughs> Thank you. What on earth happened? When did you realise it was Johnny Depp? Uh, it was fantastic. There are a couple of us who were aware it was going to be Johnny Depp a few days earlier, um, but for obvious reasons, it wasn't news that we could share. Um, and then when his helicopter landed, you know, the neighbourhood got really excited, realised it was somebody special. Um, most of our staff had actually gone home at that point, um, but a few lucky members of the team got to stay and take some photos, and he was, he was absolutely brilliant with everybody. When his helicopter just landed. Say, his helicopter <laughs> landed. <laughs> That's one way to arrive. Absolutely. It's not the first we've had at Hemswell, but normally we're a bit more discreet about our visitors, but he was quite happy for us to let everybody know he'd been, which is brilliant for us. I bet those staff members who went home earlier are kicking themselves now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I did have a few messages over the weekend uh, taking me to task. So did you find out um, why he chose your particular antiques emporium and what he was looking for? Yeah, absolutely. So Hemswell's Europe's largest antique centre. We've got um, nearly 400 dealers in the centre. So we are really well known in the industry. We work quite closely with film studios, prop houses, those sorts of things. Um, and someone that Johnny knows quite well is a regular visitor to the centres. And it was him that got in touch and said, Johnny's furnishing a new house, he'd like to come and visit. Do we think we could do something for him? And obviously we weren't going to turn an opportunity like that down. I love that um, it's now Johnny. But... Johnny this, Johnny that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did, he was fantastic. He did a personal video for um, one of my sons and he, you know, signed autographs for people. He did a, a, an autograph on the Pirates of the Caribbean DVD. Um, it was just absolutely fantastic to, to be around, really. Now... Having had a look at what he bought, was it he's bought a, mm. a skull and some guitars? Can you give us an yeah, idea I mean, of what his it, taste might be like? So, what, what is he? What and you said he's trying to furnish a house. Yeah, absolutely. But we asked him when he came. Look, is there anything that you'd really like us to, to pick out for you? And he just said he'd know it when he when he saw it. And he just bought a, a wide variety of things. He looked absolutely stunning in the top hat from Raven House. Um, but he came to the right place for the guitars because we've got somebody who's got quite a large selection, and he found some pieces he really really liked. Um, it was uh, really interesting to see where his tastes went. Uh, I think the mo two most common words uh, were "wow." And oh my God. And that's how we feel being here every day. Hmm. How much did he spend, Paul? Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. But everything's great value here at Hemsworth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a free pass, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Were there any other customers in there at the time? Yeah, so they timed the visit for just as we were closing. So there were a few stragglers who got to see who was visiting um, and wanted to hang around. But um, a big part of Johnny's visit at that time was, you know, so that he could browse in peace and quiet. And, and you know, he had a good four hours here at the centres. Most people need a day to get around the whole lot. And, and he didn't manage to do that. So he has promised us that he will be back again in the future. And I think I mentioned, didn't I, that he's, he was interested in a skull vase. I think we might have a picture yeah. of it. Now, that is a little bit Pirates of the Caribbean, isn't it? Do you think it his is. choices were influenced maybe by his film roles? He's on brand. Definitely. Oh. Well, they could have been the top hat. He looked just like his character from Alice in Wonderland. So, oh, you know, he's obviously yeah. got a, a certain sense of taste and style. Um, and he blew everybody away with that. He's into, he's into his antiques, isn't he? He, loves, he clearly loves antiques. And you say he'll be back. Any, any uh, slot booked? 
No, no, he hasn't done yet, but I hear that he is browsing our website. There's about 7,000 items on there at the moment. So we're <laughs> expecting an order in before he comes next. More or less than five grand? <laughs> quite possibly, quite a bit more, I would have oh, thought. Oh, really? Okay, well, well done to you, Paul. Thank you very much thank indeed, uh, Johnny Depp. Shopping in Lincolnshire, lovely stuff. Just casually taking his helicopter to drop in. It reminds me of a story I did a couple of years ago about when, when Tom Cruise suddenly landed in a ha in, in a field yeah. behind a house. I think that was in Warwickshire. Yeah, he was that wanted... at a wedding? And yeah, I think he just wanted like... to use the loo or something. <laughs> it was like the way to do it. It's you never know he's going to turn up. That's it from us uh, for today. <laughs> Breakfast back from uh, six o'clock tomorrow. Who knows who will pop in for that? Yes, we'll wait and see. Now on BBC One, it's time for Morning Live with Gethin and Gabby. Have a lovely day.